Hey there gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, and uh, a quick and dirty video because a very strange piece of breaking news has just come out, which is that Shuhei Yoshida, one of the original people at PlayStation, pretty much the OG of OG, he was PlayStation's president for a long time, he was one of the original cheerleaders of the whole PlayStation project at Sony, he's quitting and I guess it's not too big of a shock because, you know, he's pretty up there in years, but it does feel like the tone of the internet. A lot of people are just sad because PlayStation as a relatable brand, as a face company, it's definitely begun to pivot. It does feel like ever since Reggie fils stepped down, a lot of these companies used to have like a spokesperson, an actual human person that said, here's our games, here's why they're best, here's why you should buy them. And with the leaving of Shuhei, it does feel like that face, love, personality has kind of left PlayStation with him. But let's take a look at the announcement, and I want to look at his statement to see what he's saying about his own incredible legacy. But let's get into it. Hi, hope you're having a great day, and if you could, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. So I'm definitely being a giant jerk right now because I actually have friends at my house. <laughs> We're having a retro game day and I snuck upstairs to film a video. So uh, extra quick and dirty video. But here it is. Shuhei Yoshida has announced he is leaving PlayStation on January 15th, 2025. Now, a lot of the replies are like, who is left? And I feel like this is an interesting thing. I feel like it's been a long time since we've seen someone so universally loved the way that Shuhei is, especially at PlayStation. For a lot of people, he's not just the face and the voice of Sony, but a lot of people think of him as that first guy who really came out and said, hey, PlayStation is going to kick ass. Oh man, it's actually Jover for PlayStation in terms of having a face that people actually kind of like. Because yeah, I guess there are corporate bigwigs, there's people that can talk into a microphone, but he is that guy who felt like a friendly bro that I definitely would love to game with. I mean, he used to go and take people out to dinners and stuff like that, like Greg Miller and stuff. I don't know. It was cool that he seemed like a guy who, who was happy to be on the PlayStation team. Yoshida was the last key PlayStation figure who was truly this sympathetic and above all human. He was someone whose love for video games you could genuinely believe this is too bad. Man, especially the Metagross Solid freaking stuff, man. Sick, okay, there's nobody good left anymore. A lot of people are being uh, kind of bleak. End of an era, gosh damn. Sucks to see, because in recent years, he's been helping indies out when PlayStation used to be pretty hostile to them, as well as being one of the few PlayStation veterans left. But I guess Sony's trying to flush all of that out now. So obviously last year, I made a video talking about it, but in October, we saw that the previous president stepped down and now Herman Holst and another gentleman, there's now a co-lead of PlayStation. They're basically trying to think of it more of a team brand instead of just a singular figurehead. And Shuhei Yoshida for the last, I guess for the last three years, for the last five years, I think it's five years now, he's been the head of PlayStation Indies. His job, and he seems to absolutely love it, if you followed him on Twitter or Blue Sky or whatever, the guy would basically play and test and beat pretty much every single big indie and personally would go, hey, this is great, here's why it's great, here's why you should play it. And it was interesting to have a guy that clearly did seem to love his job, which in gaming, you'd think it'd be more ubiquitous, but it definitely seems to be a bit of a lost art to be that passionate. But let's actually take a look at this PlayStation blog post. All good things. A, a look back at Shuhei Yoshida's 31 years of PlayStation. Now, I'm not going to read all this, but man, I, I'm glad they went so in-depth I'm glad they're really patting this dude on the back and letting him take his victory lap because he does deserve it. If you've listened to the PlayStation podcast over the last 14 years, then you've definitely know Shuhei Yoshida, perhaps best known for his lengthy turn as president of PlayStation during the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 generations. Yeah, he was president of PlayStation for like 12 of the 31 years, I think. Yoshida-san has spent th the past few years energizing independent developers as head of indies at PlayStation. With PlayStation's 30th anniversary arriving next week, I got some time to catch up with Yoshida and his career, his plans for the future, and his top games to pick across the 30 years of PlayStation. 
man, you were one of the first guests on the PlayStation podcast, probably 14 years ago. I feel like the word podcast didn't even exist 14 years ago. That's so insane. What have you been up to? I've been traveling a lot. I've been all over the place. I've been to Brazil, India, Australia, Switzerland, visiting developers, game events, looking at all these new games from developers and tweeting about the games that I like throughout the year. Man, I want to scroll down here. Let me see what games he's talking about. You've been with Sony Interactive Entertainment for so long. What's guiding this decision and the timing? I feel like this is the crucial question. So we're going to read this and then uh, maybe one more. And then I got to get back to the party because I'm being a jerk. Uh, I, if my friends see this video, I promise I'm coming back downstairs in a second. Okay. Um, I've been with PlayStation from the beginning, and this is my 35th first year with PlayStation. And when I hit 30 years, I was thinking, huh. It may be time for me to move on. You know, the company's been doing great. I love the PlayStation 5. I love the games that have been coming to the platform. And we have a new generation of management who I respect and admire. So I'm excited for the future of PlayStation. PlayStation is in really good hands. And I thought, okay, this is my time. Now, there has been some rumblings that Herman Holst specifically, he was the head of PlayStation games for a long time. He was previously the CEO of Guerrilla. He helped make stuff like Killzone and Horizon Zero Dawn and stuff. There has been talks that he has been more hands-on with what PlayStation has been up to. And some people think this is him pushing people out. I don't see it that way, but it does seem like certain people, some of the older big dogs, perhaps are in a position now where they're like, okay, I don't need to constantly be stirring the pot. Now I can just let the flavor simmer. The people have the right idea in mind. It is sad though, because honestly, it's hard to purely put this on the shoulders of Shuhei, but man, the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4 generations were so freaking good that the idea of the personal shepherd of those generations is gone from the industry, from PlayStation. It does feel like such a crazy, crazy pivot. Man. <sighs> man. It's wild. Yeah. Talking about Ken Kutaragi, the father of PlayStation. Let's look at that in the, in the video. Ken Kutaragi is often called the father of PlayStation. What was it like working at the company back in those days before the original PlayStation even came out? Yeah. So when I joined PlayStation, it was still just a department. Ken's team was doing the development and there was another team called under Sony Music Entertainment making games for Super Nintendo. And that was another small team preparing to make stuff for the PlayStation. So these two teams merged Ken's team under PlayStation and Saito team under Sony Music to create Sony Computer Entertainment in November of 1993. When the company was established as a joint venture, we held a party and everybody was in an one hotel room. I remember we had about 80 people total. It was very, very small. God, I, I feel like something people kind of forget now in the current age of bloat and big games, with microtransactions and thousand man development teams and five year dev cycles is how much seat of the pants everything was back in the day. Like right now, actually, me and my friend, uh, what we're doing is we're playing Silent Hill. We've decided we're going to beat the original Silent Hill. We're, we're having like a PlayStation 1 themed night tonight. And while we're playing it, we keep just marveling about the fact that Silent Hill 1 was made in pretty much one year from the cutscenes to the music, to the story, to the graphics, to the gameplay. I almost kind of miss that era of PlayStation of just figuring it out. Small teams, lots of passion, crazy amounts of just raw effort. And I do feel like Shuhei Yoshida very much reflected that. Shuhei, uh, you're not going to see this video. You're a busy guy, but I mean, you do spend time on YouTube. If you see this, man, the biggest salute to you, sir. If anybody deserves the biggest gratitude, the biggest send off, the biggest hurrah, it is you, man. Enjoy your retirement or whatever you do next. You have definitely earned that victory lap, but I got to get back to Silent Hill. You guys rock. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and please keep dreaming. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.